Okay guys, I think I'm basically screwed. This luggage alone is 15 pounds. The eight inch wrapped up is 15 pounds. I'm up to 30. The mount is five pounds. We're up to 35. The tripod is another five pounds. That's 40 pounds. And I have some padding, my shoes, my accessory case. I'm like 53 pounds. So I don't know how much lighter I can make this thing. I do have just a couple little thin maps, Planisphere, two hats, and my Orion Deep Sky. Angelus put like scuba gear. Okay, it's two pounds, so that's not heavy. So, and I even put some of the stuff here, my star sense, my speaker, my microphone to talk, the base of the star sense. There's no way I can fit it. So I guess I was figuring from before the six inch was nine pounds. This now is only 11, but with all the padding, it brings up to 15. But remember too, now I'm bringing the, a thicker tripod, which is five pounds. The SV Boney is another five, six pounds, where this guy was five pounds, the mount and tripod. Now, this is five pounds and five pounds. It's double right there, even though this was only a two pounds more than the Heritage with the padding than when the extra accessories I need because it's a 2000 millimeter focal length. I'm bringing a few more eyepieces, focal reducer, and I even took out this huge eyepiece, which is three pounds alone. So I'm not sure if I screwed up myself and maybe the Heritage is really all I can do. The Heritage with the little Omni mount and then with the less eyepieces and stuff, maybe that's the only way I can do it. So which means I bought this eight inch SCT for nothing. I only bought it for traveling. Now, I, I sold already the Heritage, so the good thing is it's on sale, about 60 bucks, so that's gonna help. I think what I have to do, I got two days left, I gotta go back to the telescope store and I have to buy the Skywatcher Heritage again. Then with on that little Omni AZ mount, it's gonna be nine pounds with that Omni mount AZ tripod and mount is five pounds total. So total is 14 pounds altogether. And then just, I don't need as many accessories like a focal reducer and as many eyepieces and I think filters and stuff. So I'm gonna have to do that and I have two days. Then I have to drill a couple of holes to put the star sense on it. And I'm gonna have to, it's the only thing I can think of. I thought since the OTA is only two pounds, I thought, okay, that could work. I didn't think it'd be that bad. But I guess on a plane, every pound that I go is going to matter. Because Angelus has a few things that she has to put in, not including like my personal belongings or any clothing. So I guess before, uh, all that less weight was the stuff that I personally needed for me and Angelus. Now I can't fit it. I only bought this 8-inch SCT for the travel and it's not going to work. Just the two blankets that I used for the tripod and the SV Boney <clears throat> AZ mount is three pounds. So if I don't take that, it's gonna three. mount it on that. I didn't take into consideration, it's not only two pounds of the OTA. Then I need the, the focal reducer 6.3. Then I need the two inch diagonal. That alone, I think it's at least two pounds. Because the focal length is so long, I need a few more eyepieces, especially at least a low power. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to see anything that's big and extended. More accessories than I would need with the Skywatcher Heritage. Uh, I mean, I could do an inch and a quarter diagonal, but because the field of view in an 8-inch SCT is narrow, uh, I feel like I need the 
the two inch, then with a two inch eyepiece, then the focal reducer to get a wide field of view. So I was able to calculate with the reducer diagonal, my two inch eyepiece, I'm getting to a, about two degree field of view, which is big in an SCT. Normally the biggest you go in an inch and a quarter format is 1.2 uh, field of view. So going up to a two degree field of view is like three quarters of like the Andromeda galaxy, which is considered big. So I felt that two degree field of view is more than enough than I need, but all that stuff adds the weight. So unless I wanna carry then a second case luggage, then I'm paying another $80 each way um, and I don't want to keep doing that for too often. You know what I mean? Because then two trips could be the cost of the heritage. I was pretty happy with the heritage. And the first part, uh, or the first trip I did last year, I was in a Bordeaux 5. Um, and it worked pretty good. Now, I think this time we're going to be in a Bordeaux 3.5 to 4. So it's a, a whole zone better to about a zone and a half better. So which means the six inch then should be probably 20% better this time around if we're in a darker sky. Does that make sense? Which would probably be the difference of almost going to the eight inch SCT, how much light it can collect. Angela, the carry on, all the gifts that she's bringing, she said she's almost full and not including any of her clothes. Uh, because last year she put about 12, 13 pounds of her clothes in the suitcase as well. So now because I'm going bigger, it's only basically mainly 90% is the scope. You know what I mean? I can only fit a few things. So if I go back down to the six inch heritage, I can at least give her 13 to 14 pounds. Well, and even those towels, if I take out those towels, I'm probably about 15 pounds that I can give her for clothing, which is a big upgrade. So she said, just bring the eight inch. I wanted to go eight inch, but I don't wanna be selfish. The biggest luggage that you can bring, 90% is mine. Just uh, my hat, uh, my shoes, and a couple things I did, it's maxed out. I don't wanna bring then a third luggage because I'm already bringing a carry on as well. Then a knapsack. So I'm already three things, uh, a big case, a carry-on and a backpack. She's gonna have one carry-on and a backpack. So really, she's not gonna hardly carry any clothes. I don't find that really acceptable. She wants me to still do it. I don't want to. I'd rather pay. Uh, also, the Skywatcher Heritage is on sale right now. $60 now compared to when I bought it last year. About a year and a few months, whatever. So I'm actually saving $60 right now. Now I know the six inch is about the biggest that you can carry with a tripod and mount and accessories, slow motion controls and a few eyepieces and filters and having about 15 pounds extra for clothing or whatever. So I think that's the 15 pounds I can give for her clothing. And then she could squeeze a little bit more on her carry on and it's comfortable. Six cents was pretty good and I enjoy it. So if I just get to a darker sky, which I am, at least one zone to a one and a half zone better, I should enjoy it even that much better. Wasn't even 100% sure if the eight inch corrector plate was going to survive the trip the way they throw it. It just makes more sense. I, I think you guys would agree. Okay guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on the channel. If you know anybody getting in the hobby, please share my link. If you know anybody that's done a travel telescope or was asked, now I know until you finally do it that an 8-inch CT can be done, but it's going to max you out. So probably a 6-inch, something like a Heritage, is probably going to be your maximum. You have members video and it's 99 cents a month. It's one video for the members only that doesn't go on the regular channel. Plus I put your name on the uh, description. Why not you? Why not me? Okay, so here's the Skywatcher Heritage one more time. Okay, and don't laugh, okay? Because really, who was to know that just because it was three pounds more, no, two pounds more, 
but then with everything included, it was just gonna be at the limit. Who would know that, okay? So here we go. So now you guys also know from my mistakes. If you wanna bring a large-ish telescope on an airplane type of thing, where you're gonna still have about 13 to 15 pounds of luggage or clothing or whatever to go, then this is gonna be your maximum. The six inch heritage or something like this. Uh, and then it depends on your tripod and mount. It can go an eight inch SCT, of course, with an average mount like I showed you guys in a tripod, but it's gonna be just about maxed out. Now there is one way that I saw that I could have saved a little weight, but it won't work for me. New luggages with new materials, that size, like 28 or 29 inch luggage, from what I saw with new stuff, is about 10 pounds, where this one is 15. So right now, I don't have time to do anything, plus I don't wanna pay for anything that's about $130, just to save five pounds right now. And I wouldn't get it in time anyway. But maybe in the future, that's something I can consider, is getting a new luggage, the same size, the biggest they make, but with the new materials will be about five pounds less. Now again, five pounds isn't a whole lot, but at least it could, if I bring again this type of equipment, it'll give me instead of 13 to 15 pounds, it's gonna be more 18 to 20 pounds, which is a, a decent amount of clothing that you could put. Um, that's it guys, so I got it back. I do gotta put the ride gel on. I do gotta screw holes to put the star sense on because it worked really good. The padding for it is, I still got it. Plus, my padding is also the shroud and a little bit of the, the dew shield to stop straight leg from coming in and from that secondary from getting dewed over. So anyway guys, so it was crazy, but I made it work. I still got a pack because tomorrow Angelus is coming to grab my all the luggages and have it at her house because her house is about 40% closer to the airport than my place. So it's better we go from her place than my place. Anyway guys, cheers. Hey guys, wanted to give you an update. So now my big red uh, suitcase is down to like 33 pounds. And then I put my accessories, my speaker, my star sense, the top, the base, uh, pen, uh, suntan lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, some batteries, flashlights, basically some, some of all that stuff that I couldn't fit. So even after putting that all that stuff, I'm up to 38 pounds, okay? All my stuff is done. So which means I have to about 12 pounds to give to Angelus. Plus my carry-on was at 22 pounds. I took some of that to wrap up like the mount and some of the other uh, the star sense and that type of thing and uh, my carry-on is down from 22 pounds or somewhere it was around there 22 to 24 pounds down to 14 pounds so i got 12 pounds in the big one i got about maybe 10 pounds in then my carry-on so makes a big difference eight inch sct and what type of equipment and accessories you need and what it's all gonna weigh comparing to something like this so again guys if you ever want to travel and you want to have still a decent amount. Uh, remember too, if my case was the newest style, which was would be like 10 pounds instead of 15 pounds, I could have, you know, uh, instead of 12 pounds, about 17 pounds with everything I have in there, which is pretty decent. Now I know for sure.